So this car has a boost leak, and if you've ever driven a turboed car with a boost leak, you know how annoying it can be. It'll build boost, and then the boost cuts, and then it'll build boost, and the boost cuts, and it's just terrible. And so I have some new intercooler piping that I'm gonna run through here um, and hopefully fix that problem. But today I'm gonna do a quick fix on it and try to just seal it up so until I can get to my buddy's house who's got a welder, at least I won't have to drive with terrible fuel economy and um, an annoying boost leak. So I'm gonna try to fix it with duct tape and epoxy because that's how I roll and hopefully it'll hold. All right, boost leaks are annoying. They're just like vacuum leaks. They just make, they make. Ugh. All right, boost leaks are annoying. They're like vacuum leaks. They make your drivability bad. They make your turbo not work, which is just, I mean, that's the reason I bought this car in this version is so I would have a turbocharger. They, um, they can hurt your fuel economy, which that's what I'm experiencing. I got like 17 miles to the gallon on my last trip, and I'm pretty sure this is the culprit. And so I've made these, which are the ends of PVC pipe. This one, has like an air hose coupler on the end so that I can pressurize it. Now what that means is I can cap off my system and basically put boost in there. Put, I'm gonna put 10 pounds of pressure in there and I'll be able to see where I'm leaking air during boost and then I'll be able to seal it. Now I'm gonna seal it temporarily today. I've bought an intercooler kit, uh, a piping kit to run just new piping. The way that Audi does this, they have like a cross tube it's actually part of like what holds your motor in. The snub nose mount is connected to it, so I can't get rid of it. And in that, there's like a hole where your air runs through, right? And so what happened to my car is it bottomed out at some point before I bought it, and there was a hole that was put into this tube. I tried to have it welded up. It didn't work, obviously. So I'm gonna go find that leak. I'm going to seal it temporarily today, and then eventually I'll make some piping that just completely bypasses the whole front cross tube and runs straight to the intercooler. Let's do it. So first I'm going to pull all this covering off of the air box. Just sit it out of the way for now. And then I've got a hose right here. It's a turbo intake pipe. So I'm going to pull that off. I need a flathead screwdriver. Like that. So that hose is loose. It's this hose right here that runs to your air box. And I'm also going to undo this hose right here. And that is the hose that runs to the throttle body. I'm gonna take one cap, the one without the thing on it, the thing, the uh, air hose coupler. Yeah, let's just call it the thing. Get it in there pretty good, What you don't want is for this thing to become a projectile once it gets under boost and shoot out. That's in, tighten it down. I'm gonna take this and point it out this way so in case it does decide to shoot out, it goes into the engine and not who knows where. Now we'll take this one, and I don't remember the size of these. I just measured my air, my air hoses and then got PVC that was similar in size. And then we'll tighten this one back down too. All right, so that gives us a closed system. We can charge this with air, and then we'll be able to find our leaks. I have an idea where this leak is, but if you didn't, this would give you a really good idea, and it gives you time to actually go and find it while the engine's off. Um, it makes it really easy to hear. All right, so I've got my hose on. I've set my compressor to 10 pounds, um, and then I'm going to hook this up. I'm gonna to try to find this leak before my compressor cuts back on, because if it cuts back on, you're not gonna be able to hear anything. But if it does, I'll still show you where the leak is, but you should hear it almost immediately. Now, you can hear. I've got a leak somewhere down here. All right, so the boost leak actually isn't coming from the pipe I had repaired, which is good news and bad news. Bad news because I already bought intercooler piping to remake that whole pipe. Uh, good news is the repair actually worked. So what I'm gonna do now, I, I don't know where it's coming from. It's a small leak, but it's enough to affect drivability. Um, so I'm going to take this. It's uh, not simple green. It's just water with some dishwashing soap, and I'm gonna spray it around the area that I'm hearing the air, 
and then look for bubbles. If I find bubbles, I know where my leak is. So I decided to put the Audi in full service position, which means taking out the headlights and pulling the front end up a little bit. If you own a V5 Audi, you should get used to doing this because you have to do it to get to pretty much everything. I can actually get down in here and look a little bit better. I have yet to find this leak. I don't know where it's coming from, but it's gonna drive me insane. I found my problem. This is some sort of banjo bolt that I think controls my wastegate, which makes sense because my wastegate's been dumping all the air. And it was, compl <laughs> it was completely unscrewed. I'm gonna show you where it is. I think I've actually read about this causing the kind of issues that I'm having. All right, so turbo intake pipe runs right here. There's a little plug right here. That goes to the wastegate. This, I think goes to the turbo, or supposed to, but it's disconnected. Luckily, the banjo bolt, I think that's what you call this thing, with the hole in it. Uh, let's see, there we go. Was still in the little hole right there. So I'm gonna reconnect that and see if that fixes my problem. I have a feeling it's gonna do a world of difference for my car because I'm sure it was supposed to be plugged into something. So, let's try it. Okay, for the other Audi owners out there who are wondering what I just did, um, I'm pretty sure the leak was coming from this bolt. Um, if, you, if you follow the, uh, the turbo intake pipe, inlet pipe, whatever it's called, down through here, I've got some stuff deleted so it's gonna look a little bit different. There's a plug right here Okay, you see that plug? Now off that plug, there's a kind of a triple T looking thing, triple cross thing. And this one, the one that goes towards the turbo, runs around and into a plug on the side of the turbo or a, a tapped hole on the side of the turbo. It's a 12 millimeter bolt with a hole in it. Pretty sure it's called a banjo bolt. Um, but I just screwed it back in. I'm gonna test for leak again. I'm betting I'm not gonna have one and I'm betting this is going to make my car actually work like a turbo car is supposed to. Um, just to give you an idea, if you think this might be your problem, my car, the turbo comes in and out, um, but a lot of times it'll just dump all of the boost that it builds over and over and over again. Um, it'll go up to about 3,000 RPM before it does that, and it never really gets into full boost. So if it sounds like your problem, check that bolt. Maybe it's like mine, um, and it had worked its way out. All right, so it sounds like the leak is gone. Um, I can still hear air when I plug the hose in. I think it's just the air going through the system. It doesn't sound like a hissing noise, like a leak, so I think that might have been it. I'm not sure. Either way, that had to be bad. <laughs> so, so I'm going to test it again and see if it works, and if it does, I'm going to be so excited because this car hasn't driven right, honestly, since I got it, um, and I think that's really going to help in terms of helping the car drive correctly. So we'll see. So that's it for the boost leak. Um, I'm pretty sure that bolt was probably the issue that I was having with erratic acceleration and, and weird boost levels and all that stuff. So I think it's going to fix the problem. That's all for today though. I'm going to go over all of these fixes at the end of this mini series. So when I get done with these quick fixes, I'm going to go over all of them and see if they work. And if they didn't, I'm going to, uh, I guess, figure out why. But I'm pretty sure that's going to be the fix for this boost leak. Uh, so make sure you like and subscribe if you like this video. I've got a lot of other videos, so go check those out. And uh, be looking for the end of the Quick Fix series so that you can see if it worked. See ya.